Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be looking at port based VLAN. So, port based VLAN is separating or uh, breaking up your switch ports into separate virtual switches. So, in this diagram, I have two, four computers, and two computers are in VLAN 200, and the other two is in VLAN 50. And uh, what this does is that it allows you to separate or um, break up your network into separate broadcast domains. Uh, so if you look at VLAN 200, we are using Ethernet port 2 and 3 for VLAN 200. And, all, and we are now using Ethernet 4 and 5 for VLAN 50. So computers on VLAN 50 will not be able to communicate with computers on VLAN 200. And that is one of the advantages of VLAN, is that you don't need to create firewall rules and all of that to prevent clients from communicating with each other um, from different ports. All you need to do is just put them into separate VLANs. Uh, this, this, this is one of the easiest way to secure your network and also to manage your network. So I'm going to show you how to configure um, this same um, illustration. I'm going to show you how to configure this in your router. So head over to your router and click on switch. And depending on the type of router that you are using, you, you might see multiple switches. Click on VLAN, click add, and I'm going to create the VLAN ID to be 200 and I'm going to add the ports so I'm going to put Ethernet 2 and I'm going to add Ethernet 3 and apply so one thing to point out is that you may be wondering if there are other things that you need to do to put your ports in VLAN so say for instance you have configured your router and you have configured your bridges say for instance you have um, your bridge ports, your bridge, your ports in the bridge, and all that you have your interfaces, just the same. You don't need to trouble or change any of these. You don't need to change your bridge, don't need to change any of the interfaces for port based VLAN to work. Because this is happening from the switch level. So it it even if you have configured something else on your router, this will this will um take precedent over that so i'm going to add another vlan call this vlan 50 and i'm going to put port 4 and port 5 in that vlan okay so now we have created two vlans 200 and vlan 50 and based on the diagram we had add port 2 and 3 into two, uh, for VLAN 200 and port 4 and 5 for VLAN 50 so any so if any computer that is plugged into Ethernet 2 will automatically be able to communicate with the computer that is that is connected to Ethernet 3 and the same goes for computers computer that is connected to Ethernet 4 it will be able to communicate with computer and Ethernet 5. But it won't be able, these computers, so computers that are in VLAN 50 will not be able to communicate with computers in VLAN 200. So that is one purpose of the VLAN, is to separate your network and preventing um, computers from speaking to computers that you don't need them to communicate with. And so this is how you would go about configuring port base VLAN and if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't and also share my videos and that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching